Hi guys, welcome back to another video and Nuex have sent me out uh, some more things to try. So uh, we're going to start off with the Nuex uh, Mighty Plug Pro. But do not worry, this isn't going to be trying to sell you anything. And in fact, it's going to be a very brutally, brutally honest video. Uh, because what I thought I would do is compare it to the much newer uh, Boss version. A friend of mine owns this, uh, he lent it me uh, for the comparison. So what I'll do first of all is I'll spend sort of five, ten minutes with each one and you are going to get pretty much, other than checking that it worked, my first impressions of plugging in the Nuex and working with the app and the Boss Kitana. So it is going to be completely off the cuff, very raw, and if you want something that is way more factual and just presentable, there's other videos on this stuff. This is going to be real world experience of the sounds I get straight from the app. Uh, and one thing on the app, I did try and screen record the app as we went along, but the application just didn't work. It didn't record the screen, uh, proving why phones have no place in a guitarist workflow. And we will get to that later because I have got a real issue with phones being a part of anything to do with music pretty much. Uh, but let's get on to, you know, the sounds you get out of this thing straight away and the Boss Katana. And then after that, I will do some more quick fire kind of A-B tests as well. And then I'll come back, share some more thoughts. We'll go over like both of them in terms of what they look like, feel like, buttons on them and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then I am going to be giving one of these away uh, thanks to Nuex as well. So let's get straight into the video. All right then, so starting off with the Nuex, I'll just bring up how the application looks on the phone. And it is just a case of turning on the plug, which will work without the app, but obviously you can't change as much. Uh, and then it will just automatically connect. I've had no issues with connection at all. So let's just start off with what you can do with the app. And then we'll look into how the presets and stuff like that work as well. So, so as I've opened it up, you've got these blocks here at the top. And each one of those is a preset. And then you can activate them or not, and that will skip them uh, via the preset button on the device. So if I just start, oh, oh, that didn't sound great. I'm not sure what we did there. Let's have a look. Ah, I see. A preset one is loaded like an acoustic guitar, so with like every single block on. So what we got, let's go deluxe reverb. How's that sounding? There we go. So that's our stock deluxe reverb and the IR that it's got on it is a DR112, so deluxe reverb 112. Obviously, you can change that and find loads of different IRs. I think there's, how many is there? 30, is it? No, more than 36 loaded in. Some of those are acoustic guitar IRs. And then you've got 30 slots to load your own IRs in. I'm not going to be doing that today because I'm not really the guy that has, you know, that messes around with IRs and stuff like that. It's just not, it leaves me a bit cold, to be honest. Uh, however, if you do like that sort of thing and you have a preferred IR, you can load that into the device. So let's have a look at some of these. some EQ control of the IRs as well. All right, let's leave that there for now. Bring the master down and look at some of these overdrives. So you've got, again, a whole choice. Same with all the effects with the compressions, different compressions, the overdrives, loads of them. Delays, you can see the delays there. EQs, I think you've got a few different types modulation, all your tremolos, flanges, choruses, which we will get into uh, just shortly, but let's just have a little play with this. Blues driver. Some others, that's Blues Driver, 
Well, it's just a mild crunch. Well, it's even more gain, I would say. Tube screamer. So plenty of overdrives and stuff like that. Now what I want to get into is rather than playing around with all these effects and just trying to see what the things sound like, there is a preset functionality on here. You click the share button just here and you can either share yours or load patches from QRs. Now I have found this a little bit strange because the only website that has QRs seems to be non-official, but let's let's I haven't tried any of these by the way, so we'll do this all in real time. Uh, what have we got? Um, mighty, you got to make sure it says Mighty Plug. Um, Nirvana come as you are, Mighty Plug. So if I scan that, replace current preset, accept. I don't know what this would do to levels and stuff. I can't remember how you played come as you are now, so I haven't played that in years. Oh, so that's working by the sounds of it. So it's changed preset based on scanning a QR code that's on my screen, which is very weird. Come as you are. What is that? Something like that, isn't it? But damn tuned. So it is, it's got presets, but the it's just a weird way to go about it. So I'm going to look at a few more of these as a good way to kind of load up random effects that are in this thing. And we'll just see what what comes out of it pretty much. Um, what do we got? Uh, I know you can't see what I'm reading now, but when I find one, I will, I will load it. Uh, thrash distortion. Let's just see what that is just for the fun of it. So load patch from QR. Accept. It's probably blow my ears off now and yours. That's pretty quiet, so what I can do is go back into the amp or something. Bring out the master. Oh. That'll be why it was quiet. Or if I just turn it up on the device. So let's try and bring in the gate so that we've got a bit more control of that feedback with the high gain. There you go. So you can fix that with the noise gate. It's a bit like a DS2 where you leave it without playing and it just loses its mind. So that's, you know, a bit like an 80s high gain thing. Let's have a look at the modulation and put a chorus on that just to really get the 80s thing. Right, let's check out some more presets because I am curious as to see what people have done with this. Alright, again, look at I should have lined some of these up first really, but it's taken a while to find them because some of them are for the amp and some of them are for the plug. Mighty Plug Pro, I believe in a thing called Paul. Let's have a look at that. Uh, low patch from QR. Bring the phone up to the screen. Accept. Oh. Do apologise for the screeches and squeals there, but I am trying to give you a real life experience of what it's like to play with this thing, you know? So, it looks like we're going to need a gate once more with higher sensitivity turned on. Let's have a look at this. Oh. So, I'm not sure if this is happening because I'm not plugged directly into the device here. I will let you know if it. I've not had it do the screeching thing as bad as that before. But it could just be the fact that everything's wound right up on these presets, which again are just unofficial presets. You just you, as soon as you go a bit too much, we're just getting a lot of screeching.
So I'm having to really sort of wind that noise gate up to get rid of that. But again, that might be because I'm sat in front of a computer and stuff, just interfering with it. I'm not sure, but just trying to give you a real world experience, as it were. So this one was called I Believe in a Thing Called Paul, which I'm guessing is like a darkness type of preset. <laughs> What is that riff? I can't remember it. Something like that. Something like that, but let's find out a cleaner one so we're not dealing with so much gain. Um, slow dancing, John Mayer. Let's see what that comes up like. Low patch from QR. Except, not sure if that found the right one there. Yeah, it sounds a lot cleaner, doesn't it? Just turn the amp down a touch. Yeah, I think that screeching thing before is just a case of these presets, whoever's made them, everything's just wound up so high. So definitely be careful of that if you're looking for presets, because the cleanest, you know, it's not, not too bad. But Whatever that is. Some of these things I've just, I've seen them in real time, I haven't played them in forever. But that does the job. You know, nice lot of reverb. Probably too much reverb to be fair for me, but... What happens if you put a drive on that? some more presets and then we'll look at the boss we'll do the same thing with the boss katana and just load that up run through that app and see what comes out of that again giving you a kind of real life experience of this will be similar to what it's like when you first get yours before you dial in your own sounds and then we'll do the same same with the boss i mean this whole qr patch loading thing seems to work just fine but it's a very strange way of why you wouldn't just have a part of the app itself that has loads of presets on it i'm not quite sure <laughs> So it's very, very bright. It reminded me of the sort of Brian May thing. So there's some practice on there. Now let's do the exact same thing with the boss. And I'm not tweaking these to taste yet and dial in. We'll save that till later on. But let's go over to the boss to see if when you first plug that in and the sounds you get from it, are they, are they better? Uh, more inspiring, easier, we'll, we'll find out. All right then, so doing the exact same thing with the Boss Katana, it's immediately, as soon as you load the app up, especially as a Katana guy myself, way more clear as to what's going on. We've got the amplifier type, which shares like a Katana. It loads up like this on the clean. Which isn't clean at all, but the gain's on full, so let's bring that down. So there's, that's your sound out of the box sort of thing. No presets or anything. Haven't got there yet. I mean, to me, that is totally usable just as it is sort of thing. Bear in mind, this you're just going to be sat with just you and your guitar, this, and headphones. That's, that's fine for just practicing some stuff. 
right, so then you've got crunch, uh, crunch, there we go. Which is a pretty nice crunch again, we haven't even tried to change the EQ or add any effects. Then you've got brown, which I'm guessing is high gain. And notice we're not getting all that squealing that we were getting before, but how high gain is it? Pretty high gain. So plenty of high gain there, and then on the effects, you've got if, uh, Boost, Centura, Edit that, drop down the edit. It's all of the effects that, if you've ever used the Katanas in the Tone Studio, you'll be more than familiar with what they are. So let's go back to a, a cleaner sound for a second. Uh, where are we at? Amplifier, clean, gain lower. this so you can type it in as well volume go back to effects we got here delay quick on and off buttons to the side so in terms of effects it looks like we're <clears throat> similar on both the new X and the boss but I have to admit using these two now for pretty much the first time I'm finding the boss one a lot easier to navigate so you know all your normal effects that you've probably seen in the katana uh, a thousand times before so on this one i've noticed down here it says tone exchange which is what i was talking about on the new x app without that qr thing i was surprised there wasn't something on the app uh currently only live sets created by boss Support for sharing user content will be added in June 24. Right, so we've not got user preset sharing within the app just yet. But it looks like Boss have made some that we can look at. Let's just look at the top one. And we'll do what we did on the last one, just go through the presets and sort of just see what comes out kind of thing. Brand lead. I mean, that, that's a pretty decent drive sound, to be fair. And again, no kind of squealy issues and stuff like that. Natural drive, I'm guessing, is going to be a little bit lower drive. I'm guessing you'd have to download these before you can edit them. So it lets you, obviously, uh, preview them before you download them, which is a nice touch. Uh, clean chorus, let's see what that's all about. I mean, that, that works. I did notice, actually, there's a button that just caught my eye here. Stage feel, let's just see what that does while we're here. What's that doing, where is it? Where did I see that, to that side? Uh, there, yeah, I thought it was all right. So, mode one, mode two. It's just adding a little bit of reverb. Think of it as a reverb preset switch, I suppose. Uh, let's have a little warm tone. What's that all about? Give the net. Me off. I'm just playing riffs that come to mind from the sound I get pretty much. Fact clean, what's this? A bit like a tweedy sort of woofy clean. What we got here? 
ambient theme. Let's have a look at that. Loads of reverb and delays. Stadium solo. Again, just playing riffs that come to mind as I hear it. Crunch tremolo. And again, remember, you could edit these if I downloaded them. I'm just more interested in just hearing what they are, really, at the moment. There's that 80s high gain chorus thing that I was doing on the new X. <laughs> Pretty good to be fair if you're into that kind of thing. Um, what we got UK crunch, it's gonna be a martially type thing. I'm gonna Phaser lead. Again, does the job. Basic blues, what we got here. Does the job as well. Let's maybe check out one more. T wire clean. Don't know what that is. Some automatic wire. Very strange. Fuzz leads, let's try a bit of fuzz. Alright, so I think that's enough listening to presets and stuff on that before we try and get deeper into each one. But, I'm not going to lie, straight out of the box, the boss one, it's easier to find a good sound just straight off the bat. And the presets, without even tweaking them, to me, uh, are nicer sounding and a bit more fun. And, yeah, that's th this is as close to a real life experience of first time of using both apps as I can give you kind of thing. So, now I'm going to come back off camera, dial in both, you know, and actually spend time to find a good sound with each one, and then we'll come back with a shootout as well.
right then, so before I give my sort of final opinions and stuff like that on the user experience and the sounds and all that sort of thing, uh, I'll show you the actual devices themselves. So in terms of size, they are both incredibly similar. I would say the new X is definitely a little bit uh, slimmer than the Boss one, but in terms of their weight, you know, things like how do the buttons feel to press and all that sort of thing, all very, very similar. Um, what I've written down is some specs for both, and I'll list that up on the screen so you can hit pause and just A, B some specs yourself. But um, main sort of things of note, I suppose, is the Boss Katana has gone for like a volume wheel, which is supposed to be able to just roll with your thumb, I think, but it's actually, it works, but it's, it's a little bit awkward, I found, to kind of get my thumb there and roll it. Uh, but you do get smoother volume control. Uh, with the new X, you've just got plus and minus uh, buttons on the side uh, You've got preset buttons on both. I think the new X uh, the way you cycle through the presets um, Is probably a little bit easier with the boss one though. You've got three you can kind of jump You know jump between any any time so the presets kind of work The other main thing if is the boss has the tuner screen on it or the Menu screen and that is a really nice touch because you don't have to rely on the app um, to sort of use the tuner. It, it comes up on the screen uh, and it works pretty well. So other than that, I suppose the only other thing is uh, charge times. They've both got a five hour battery life, but the new X will charge in half the time. Basically, this has got one amp charging and Boss, even though it's newer, for some reason, uh, went for 0 0.5 amp charging, which in a world of two and three amp fast charging, uh, that is a weird choice because it will take like three hours or more to charge the boss Whereas only like an hour and a bit on the new X and they'll run for the same amount of time But other than that, other than that, you know both both very very similar devices now Let me get on to What's obvious I think in this video is that number one the boss app and finding tones within it I found way easier and because it was easier to find good tones. I think that the Boss comes across as the better sounding device, uh, especially in this video, but I think in general does sound a little bit better than the New X. However, the New X app with its IR loaders and way more tweakability, there is probably equal if not better sounds in this New X if you're the type that can deal with tweaking and apps and all that sort of stuff. And let me be bluntly clear with you right now, I would not buy either of these because I cannot stand, and I mean I can't even explain how much I hate, any kind of musical device, whether it's a pedal, um, a modeler or something like this, that you have to sit with your phone, and I'll do an impression of how I feel when, when, when I'm doing this. I'm sat there, I've got the guitar, and I'm tapping away on a piece of glass trying to find tone and it winds me up so much. I, the user experience for me um, is, is horrible. Even though both apps are easy to use, you know, I, I didn't struggle using them. I didn't struggle with connection or anything like that. It's just the physical interface of sitting there tapping a piece of glass to try and get sounds and change things. And I just hate that. And that is on me. I'm only telling you because this is, you've come to my video to get, you know, this is my opinion sort of thing. And in general, I would say 90% of anything I do online, anything, is sat at a computer. You know, any of you out there remember desktop computers where you sat and you just had space and you had a big screen instead of sitting there tapping with thumbs all day long? I hate anything to do with thumbs. <laughs> so sorry to rant on you a bit there. But I have to say that is why I wouldn't have either of these devices. And it, I, that's, that's probably just me. But if, you know, if, you know, let, let's park that aside a minute because it, it has been winding me up. <laughs> it always winds me up. But who is it for then if that's the case? You know, what are the use cases for something like this? And the fact that the boss is easier, how much does that matter? I suppose silent practice, you know, you and your guitar, some headphones coming up and that's it. I would much prefer to sit with headphones plugged into the computer and play with modeling software or something. I would never need to do that. Um, another use case I suppose is 
let's say you're going like to a guitar store or something like that and you want to try out a guitar but you don't want to play through the amp they give you they never give you a tuner at a guitar shop either so that's handy you could tune it and you could kind of sit yourself and get a feel for it with just taking that with you and the product it's just not for me but i can see why someone would want it and the cost difference between these two products you got the new x at around 80 to 90 and the boss at around 120 so the new x1 is cheaper at that price point 40 quid cheaper is quite a lot but i'm not sure like i think that if if this form factor is really what you're looking for i would say you know, increase the budget and get the Wazacraft ones because at least I've tried those before and I didn't have as much um, kind of negative feelings about the user interface and the user experience sort of thing. So if this sort of headphone amp thing is a must for you for some reason, I would up the budget and go for something like that over one of these. If the budget is really, really tight, like I said, the new X, I know there's way better sounds in this if you can put up with the app diving and the messing around with IRs and stuff like that, you'll find probably better value out the new X. But if you just want something that works easiest and sounds best quickest, I would say the Katana one is worth the extra 40 quid more. So this probably doesn't come across as an overall positive video, but the thing is like new X sent me this as part of a few of the things they've sent me lately. And I'm not just gonna lie just because they've sent me a device sort of thing. I'm gonna give you my honest feedback and my opinions only matter if you, you know, if you let them matter sort of thing. You might not agree with me about apps. You might not agree with me about the boss sounding better than the new X. It's only my opinion, but I'm always gonna be honest with you. That's what I'm trying to say. No matter if it's free or whether I've bought it or whatever, I'm always gonna be honest. So part of them sending me this, they did send me uh, another one here and that's going to be given away uh, to one of you guys out there so it is going to have to be UK only on the giveaway uh, the last giveaway I did worldwide paid an extortionate amount for the shipping and it all went wrong so I'm just going to keep it in the UK so to enter all I want you to do and bear in mind UK only is comment down on the uh, bottom of this video and just say count me in and in about a week or so's time I'll revisit the video and everyone who says count me in, I'll write their names down and we'll pull a winner out of a hat, probably on a live stream or something like that. So UK only, comment down below, count me in, and you will be in the draw when we live draw it. And um, I will then send that out to whoever wins it. So hopefully this makes some kind of sense. Sorry about the app screen recorder failing earlier. That you know I've tried to do my best by dropping in pictures of the app to kind of keep up with what I'm saying. Um, but again, it comes down to phones and me just not getting on. So that is it for this video and I will see you again very, very soon.